show you how to create a, a data prop cluster using airflow in google cloud so first of all uh, i'll take you through the code uh, this is just a simple code uh, uh, this is a simple deck actually uh, just uh, uh, giving a simple how to create a data prop cluster and how to submit the job and then uh, do a small task uh, copying a uh, created file from uh, uh, cloud storage to uh, Google BigQuery and after the work is completed uh, it's going to delete the cluster so this is the uh, small file uh, spark job uh, is what just is does is read a file from uh, cloud storage and then uh, create output from select number of columns and uh, save in another folder and um, this is the only the uh, this is the only part of where uh, uh, the copying part happened to Google BigQuery, but uh, this is a separate deck. Uh, it's included inside here. I will share the both if you want to just to run uh, only the uh, deck to copy paste the data from uh, Google Cloud Storage to uh, BigQuery. So let's get started. So first uh, we need to create uh, Airflow environment. I have already created environment. But I'm going to show how to you can start get started. Just select a, a simple node or scaling here, and then uh, what you have to do is just give a name, a location. Uh, then it will automatically select the image image version, and then uh, let's say I'm giving a name, uh, say two, and then location U S Central one, and then uh, select the versions and everything. So you can select machine type. Uh, I'm going to select a small one uh, here uh, and then just give a, like a 50 gigabyte. You don't have to go by default if you don't give any, it's going to go 100. We don't need 100 for this ex example. And uh, so you don't have to select a service account. Sil go go by the default. It's easier. There are ways to like, if you want, you can create a service account and control resource access. Uh, but the objective of vi this video is not that and then just select the create button i'm not going to create because i have already created one uh, when you hit a create it will take about a uh, couple of minutes to start your airflow so this is the airflow cluster that already started so now uh, what after what you have to do is uh, i'm going to show you the uh, the where the files and everything save um this is where uh, i have my uh, spark code uh spark code is here um this is the spark code uh i have saved uh here this one and then uh, i have a, a data file saved in one folder and then i have my uh i have given my output folder uh here this is the output folder this is which where all the file uh, created from spark jobs going to be saved uh, you can see here so let's uh, go to the uh, let's just start sub uh, now I'm going to show you the I don't have any cluster created now um, I'll when the job is running is automatically will create a cluster and this is the other tables going to create in Google BigQuery so let's start with the demonstration so this is the DAG environment where uh, if you go uh, in here you can open a new tab and this is the place where you can uh, uh, update upload your DAGs so basically what I'm gonna do uh, uh, take your uh, the files and uh, take your files and copy paste to here so basically uh, i will share the uh, all the DAGs with you uh, in gitlab you just have to uh, copy paste uh, drag them here into your bucket DAG, DAG bracket and after uploading uh, all the DAGs will come here after a, a minute or so then uh, you can start executing this one so i'm going to ex uh, start executing this one You can see this start running 
so let's see what's going to happen in the cluster so you can see there's nothing but when i refresh the tab uh, starting provision in the uh, cluster so this is the part this is the code that uh, uh, this is a part where the creating cluster project ID region and the cluster name you have to give those uh, variable this is a cluster configurations uh, this size the com <laughs> computer number of must master workers uh, num master worker and then number of uh, workers you are going to create um, guys it's going to take a, uh, a few minutes to create the cluster uh, I'm going to fast forward the video okay guys uh, we can see that uh, our clusters start uh, already running now so if you go inside the cluster um, you will get uh, all the details uh, uh, but the, in, the things that we are interested in is the job part so there's a no job is still uh, submitted let's refresh now is start uh, submitting the job so in our code the job submission part is this is where the, they submit in the job this is the job they're going to submit so it start running let's see start running still it's going to take a bit of a time so it's a start running it's at the moment it's running it will take about uh, a few seconds to complete the task because we have a very small task to complete so now you can see there's nothing in google bigquery uh, we are going to create a table uh, name called uh, gcp to uh, google bigquery data proc table So let's see whether the job is completed. Job is successful. Now uh, if I refresh my to see whether it has created the one second now still this job is running in the test task let's see when the big query create trans the job is completed you can see now the table is available uh, I forgot to show you the <laughs> output from the spark job uh, can you see it here if I refresh here there should be a four file created uh, this is the um, output from spark job so if you go now uh, in our code uh, there is a last part is to uh, delete the cluster uh, if you mm -hmm. cluster is already deleted now so that That's all guys, uh, this is a small demonstration to how you can incorporate Airflow and Data Pro, Pro in Google BigQuery, uh, Google uh, Cloud Platform. That's all guys, please subscribe and like, uh, put any comment that you have.